when you make that play at first base, are you starting to think, oh man, that's that play usually that leads to the uh, Honestly, I told the guy out there, I didn't. I don't care if he has a no hitter or not as long as we win the game. Uh, I think, uh, you know, obviously you're doing everything you can. You know, with the way he's throwing the ball, what he's done, you want to try and preserve that any way you can. But uh, more important, just get the win and, and, uh, and get all, get out of there. Ryan, a performance like this by Anibal tonight, what kind of a lift can this give a club in a series like this? Uh, I mean, I don't think we need any lifts right now. Uh, Every game is going to be a battle. That's a really good team over there that, that can put a really good pitcher on the mound to match ours every single night. So um, it's obvious, obviously good to get game one, but you know that's a that's a good team that's going to fight back, and we're not going to take anything for granted. We're uh, you know, obviously going to enjoy this one tonight for a little bit, but gets us nothing tomorrow. So we're going to have to come out tomorrow and face a guy for them that has done done a lot in his career. So it's not going to get any easier. You say you can be overlooked. <coughs> I mean, he's been a really good pitcher for a long time. Um, you know, he used to throw 94, 95. He's kind of adapted from there. Um, you know, I faced him all the way back when he was on the Marlins, and um, I've always respected the way he, he plays the game. And obviously now being his teammate, he's a great teammate. He works works his butt off. Um, and every time he goes out there, he gives you everything you got. And obviously tonight is, like I said, vintage Anibal. And, uh, you know, it's pretty to watch. Do you think Strasburg and Scherzer and Corbin all can kind of feed off of a performance like tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they, I'm sure starting pitchers, you know, they're a special group. I think starting pitchers kind of always are together and, you know, they sort of challenge each other. And um, so, yeah, someone does something like that. It's almost like, all right, what do you, you know, who's going to do anything next? But, uh, you know, yeah, I guess so. With, with the Marlins all those uh, years I mean, back. you know, I think a lot of guys, you know, nobody's going to throw 94, 95 their entire career. Um, not many guys can do that. So you have to learn how to pitch. He throws cutters now. He throws change-ups to both lefties and righties. He can add and subtract off pretty much all of his pitches. So, um, you know, honestly, there's not many of those guys left around. Everyone just throws high heaters and breaking balls out of the zone and tries to strike people out. So um, sometimes I think that works to his advantage.